I could probably I could probably go back. I could probably go back and um, remake them. That'd be funny. When when were you like? Was was your first beat the point where you were like, all right, like I'm gonna do this music shit. Like when what when did it click? Like yo, okay, this music. Shit oh, is, good is, question. Is me and that's what I'm gonna do. Um. I told myself when I was seven, when I was sixteen, that I would get that game, Trackpad Portable Studio. Timberland made it, and I was like, "I'm gonna just make some songs for my future video game." Let me just start with oh, that you first. Knew back then, like, yeah, I knew for a fact that I would be the only one that can make the music for my game. So I was like, "Let me get started now." Then I guess because I was eleven, thinking about it. So then, I bought the game. Made that beat, and then someone, I don't know where someone, I was on some kind of, like, internet site where you, like, rate games based on how long you've played them. And yeah. a guy was talking about the Trackpad Portable Studio game for PSP, and he was like, man, there's nothing more cursing than only loving your own music, but your music being the only kind you like. Some, some shit like that. Pretty much it was a curse, yeah. because once you make music, you never want to stop or something. Right. And I was thinking about, I was like, okay, should I hop into this world then? Let me just hop in. Fuck it, I won't die. So I made my first beat and I was like, uh, okay, maybe I should make some crump beats. Maybe I should make some beats that only, that only I would know. That'd be the advantage. You know, people be like, oh shit, that's a hot ass beat. He danced to that shit. You know, what, you know, what, where's that from? Oh, I made it. Oh, you made it. You know, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, facts, facts. But then, well, I didn't realize I needed, I needed better instruments. So then I started looking around for real instruments like on a laptop that I just got donated to me, actually. Um, I had a mentor in uh, school, and she was like the leader of the school board or something like that. Something high up that she could end up raising money for people who needed it that had talent and skill that could actually use it once you gave them what they needed. So I, I got a laptop oh, in, that, that in that way. Yeah, it was really dope. Her name was Linda, Linda Gross. She somehow got... Some type of, you know, a bunch of donations, and she was like, okay, cool. Uh, so I got a laptop donated to me through that program. So then with that laptop, I was like, all right, cool. I got a laptop now. People make beats off of laptops. Pharrell makes beats off of laptops. Timberland makes beats off of a laptop. This can work now. I'm going to make 300 beats, and on my 300th beat, I know I can be good enough to make hip-hop beats. Because everyone used to always tell me, oh, your beats are dope, but they're just so video gamey. I'm like, yeah, that's the whole point. But whatever. I'll let them think I'm trying to do yeah, hip-hop. That's, that's what I'm going for. Though. Yeah, I, but whatever. They don't know. They don't know. I was just, hey, thank you. <laughs> um, so then I was like, okay, let me make some crump beats instead. So like beat number like 33 and onwards were trying to be crump beats so I could dance to them. And only I would know what happens in a beat, like when the beat goes, or, you know. Or skips a little beat, or there's the beat drops for like two seconds and comes back. Like I'll know myself. Um, and then I don't know, maybe a couple years later, J Squad, the guys who created Crump Music from scratch, they um, they had a contest to see who's gonna be like you know Tiny J Squad or Tiny J Smooth, uh, another little homie yeah. in their barracks, and then. I won the contest because I sampled a beat from Dr. Dre and Alicia Keys and Scott. Uh, what beat was that? Um, what's that song that goes? That song. Alicia Keys. Uh, New Day. Uh, New Day. Alicia Keys. New Day with. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know who raps on it though. Dr. We'll Dre. I think. On the screen. We'll have to put that on the screen somewhere so people know. Oh, the beat. Uh, I'll, play, I'll play it. I have it somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Alright, I'll play it right now. I won with this beat. Yeah. J Squad was like, damn, that sampling was tight. Da, da, da. I'm like, man, I made beats because y'all I made beats because of how y'all made them. I learned from those guys. Let me see. That was the inspiration. Yeah, so I was under them for a bit, but I don't know how the hell I fell off of that. Let me see. <laughs> beat number 106, number 113. And while you're looking for that beat, I'm going to tell the people, yo, like, this man has made 380 beats. You have <laughs> to be consistent with this shit. It's not going to happen. Uh, it can happen fast. The way that the world is moving now, it happens fast for some people, but it's not always going to happen fast. My man was 17. 
thinking about the process, thinking about how to do it, how to get to it, get to the money. You know what I'm saying? So true for everybody that's making music or whatever y'all doing, man, stay consistent with it. Because you're going to look up one day, you're going to have 380 beats, and you're going to be nice. <laughs> the money's going to be coming in. I'm telling y'all, man, stay consistent. Got a point. He's not wrong. All right, I found the beat. Here we go.